Hi Leo, this will happen in the next 48 hours for August the 14th through August the 15th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for August the 14th through August the 15th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for August the 14th through August the 15th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for August the 14th through August the 15th, 2023. Show me. Happy birthday, Leo. Happy birthday. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. Oh, shit. I just dropped all my cards. Hold on, Leo. Yeah, <laughs> I do not read reversals. Oh, goodness, Leo. Oh, boy. Here we go. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Leo, these are your cards. Leo, you have the Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Leo, listen, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Clarify the Nine of Swords. For Leo, clarify the Nine of Swords. For Leo, clarify the Nine of Swords. Leo. It is clear the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. Something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you. Now this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release a burden. So Leo, you're telling me you're having a difficult time. Something is burdensome and you're just wanting to release it. And this is what's stressing you out. You're burdened by something, Leo. Leo, you have... What in the living world? The Ten of Wands again, and it fell out. Burdened by something and wanting to release it. Clarify the Ten of Wands. For Leo, clarify the Ten of Wands. For Leo, clarify the Ten of Wands. For Leo... It is clarified with the Eight of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel. But this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face-to-face -face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So Leo, listen, you can tell me that you're burdened because something is happening quickly here. Maybe you're burdened by some type of travel. You can tell me that you're burdened because you guys had a heated discussion or argument. Or you're burdened by the fact that they were communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Or you yourself were communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. It's a burden here. Leo, you have the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Leo, listen, you can tell me that you guys had some immature, premature communication or you went looking and spying. Clarify the page of swords for Leo. Clarify the page of swords 
for Leo. Clarify the Page of Swords for Leo. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So, Leo, listen, you can tell me that you're walking away, detaching emotionally. But when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment. And oftentimes, they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So, Leo, you could be walking away or returning. Now, you can tell me because of some type of immature, premature communication, you're walking away. Or you're telling me based on something that you saw is causing you to want to walk away. Leo, you have the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So Leo, could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Also, the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Leo. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Leo. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Leo. It is clarified with the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Leo, listen, you can tell me that something is off balance. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here, receiving something here, or you're telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. So Leo, listen, you can tell me that you're cutting them off because something was off balance. You're cutting them off because maybe you were shortchanged here. Or you're cutting them off because they were giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Leo, you have the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. But the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. Could be dealing with this Libra or Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. Now, this can be about your abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the Empress for Leo. Clarify the Empress. For Leo, clarify the Empress. Wow, Leo. I don't even know what to say about your read. This is this it's a burden. It's a burden. Your read is a burden. Here. Look. Mm. Clarify the Empress. For Leo, clarify the Empress. For Leo, clarify the Empress. For Leo, it is clarified with the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past, full fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now you could be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So Leo, listen, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from your past is in the picture. Someone from their past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. Now, Leo, listen, you can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture. Mm -hmm. You can tell me that something from the past was brought back up here that may be causing an argument. This someone from their past that's in the picture could be baby mama, baby daddy. 
But Leo, are you finding out that they were giving more someone else giving to two and now children are involved here? Because this empress is pregnant and these are children here. Something is a burden. You need to let me know, Leo. I'm going to take a look at the twin flames exposed for you, Leo. This is, um, I'm taking two cards on your thoughts, feelings, or confessions, or their thoughts, feelings, or confessions. I hope it's not too late when I come back. Oh, boy. Somebody's planning on coming back. Are you trying to come back? Are you wanting to reunite with them? Are you trying to give here? Hmm. I block my feelings and emotions because it got too intense. I block my feelings and emotions because it got too intense. Well, I can see where you could be trying to uh, block out your feelings and emotions here. I'm just wanting to release it. Hmm. I'm going to take a look at the Lover's Oracle for you, Leo. Things got too intense to the point where you had to walk away. Only time would tell. Only time would tell, Leo. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Leo, this will happen in the next 48 hours for August the 14th through August the 15th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.